What's up everyone, Gameplayer2014 here. I'm going to be showing you how to use debut software. Thanks to streetcast and matic I can actually do it. Because whenever I was using this, I tried to record features, some of this crap was uh, blanked out. So if you're going to want to record your PC gaming, you're going to want to use Fast Capture. Uh, I don't think it's going to record Battlefield. It, it'll only record windowed games. So if you got like Battlefield 3 and you can run it in a window, it's going to lag a little bit, but I don't think it's going to lag like like that. So now you get all these options here that'll uh, record as, so whenever you finish recording it's what it's going to save as Windows Media File, an MP4, uh, AVI, or Flash Video. So you got all those options. Now these I think they most of them record in AVI, I'm not sure, but they do give you options to record uh, fast capture for uh, modern gaming for PC, then you got PlayStation 3 gaming and Xbox 360 gaming. So uh, I could do that if I wanted to. I probably use PlayStation 3 whenever I'm recording just to fiddle around with it. You can fiddle around with it. But there are no en encoder options for any of these. So you can also record iPhone, iPod, PSP, and the whole nine yards. So now you now we're up to WMB. Do not fiddle with any of this. It will fuck something up. I had to delete and reinstall it. But you can change your frame rate up to 60. And that's the limit. That it'll... It won't go past 60. Which I don't know how anything could get past 50 frames a second. I mean... Well, if you got a... Futuristic PC that can record... Up, that can... That your frames can hit 120 frames a second. Which... I have no clue... If that's even possible, but, you know, whatever. But that's the max it's set, you can set it to. It's, by default, it's at 30. So, right there, it's at 30. So, just one like that. Now, you can show the cursor while recording, which you can see in the preview right here. You can also move this preview right there. I'm going to click that, and now you don't see it no more. Now, you can center it. It'll follow you around. Now you can show the rectangle recorder, which I suggest because it's easy to see where you're recording at. I think it shades it all out or just gives you the little thing around it. But you'll see exactly where you're recording at to make sure you're in the correct area. Now you come up to here to recordings. You'll have a whole list of recordings that you have. By default to be Untitled 1, Untitled 2, Untitled 3, etc. And the format, WMV, AVI, FLV, you know, whatever. They create a size, you know, it's all all the same. Now we go into the major options here, and you can choose to record just a webcam for a blog. If you click on that, you'll get these USB capture cards, which you can plug in on Xbox and PlayStation 3. Pretty neat. I never knew these even existed, so... Now the audio, you can you can choose speakers and microphone. Whenever you choose the speakers, it's gonna want you to this. It's gonna come up. This product wants you to make changes. You click OK on that. So you go to output, and this is the default. Don't really fiddle with the rest of these options here. You can reset the auto number. That'll pop up when you do it. Hotkeys by default. This is not going to be in here by default. It's going to be Control F9, Control F10, and so on. These I did not change, these I did. And I added the pause, so you could fiddle around with that. Whoop, didn't want to close it. Snapshots, you can reset the auto number of snapshots, which records it by default as JPEG, and it uses the untitled auto number. Now you can use JPEG or PNG, regular quality, high quality, low quality, and show flash place, you know, all that good jazz. Schedule for automatic recording. And other, um, you can screw with these if you want to run it whenever your computer starts. It'd be that's up to you. You can start recording automatically when the view runs. Um, that's for Windows 7, I believe. Um, you can display a notification uh, when recording in high resolution and high. Uh, AVI, MVMP4, whatever, you know, all that good jazz right there. And sound tone, they'll give you a beep. 
So it'll go beep like that or something like that. And yeah, whenever the recording starts, it'll give you a sound. Whenever it stops, it'll give you a sound. So I'll probably leave those on. And yeah, you'll get this prompt, like I said. Now on to this, you can resize, click and resize, do that. So click select and now the preview's changed. You just move it around in this little virtual box here. Full screen automatically becomes full screen. This is active window, which is folder view, do full screen, or selected area. Which grab it by a corner. I recommend just doing like a, uh, just shrinking it first or choosing like a previous size. So, yeah, that's that's about it. That's all you really need to know. Record, pause, stop, screenshot button, your microphone volume. Don't mind the fan in the background or the helicopter. <laughs> Please. Oh man, I want to hurt. You call it a sneeze, well, so why do people say it chew? Shouldn't it be considered chewing? I don't fucking know. But, anyway, this adds captions, this adds video effects, um... Reset defaults, okay, let's see. Right. You can do flip vertically, so now it's upside down, flip horizontally. They're the same fucking way. Well, horizon is this way. So, wouldn't it flip this way vertically and horizontally? I think they got it backwards, but you could see it. Pretty neat. Change the brightness, contrast. You can add a watermark if you wanted to. Um, and adjust camera overlay, which is for webcams, which I'm not going to do. So I'm going to click this out, and yeah, that's about it. It's straightforward. Not that hard to work with. It's very user-friendly, if you ask me. Change that back to that, and yeah, I'll catch you all later. See you.